How Ryan Garcia humbled Logan, Logan Paul. Boys podcaster called Ryan Garcia an influencer boxer leading up to the Devin Haney fight. And Ryan has said this. Hey, Mr. Garcia, I got a question. What do you got to say to Logan Paul calling you an influencer boxer? Wait, is it Logan Paul an influencer boxer too? At one point, he was boxing, but he could never ever hang with the pros. He challenged for it. Mayweather, Floyd Money Mayweather, for an exhibition match and got his ass whooped. He was taller than him, bigger than him, stronger than him, all that, attributes, all that. But he was inexperienced when it came to fighting. Logan Paul don't know how to use what he has and what he knows. And all that shit still won't mean nothing against that real boxer. And I guess that's why Jake Paul is fighting retired, you know, past, you know, uh, boxers. You never hear a boxer wanting to fight other fighters from different like genres of you know when it came to like boxing he fought retired MMA fighters right correct and then when he's when he fought a somewhat of a actual boxer he was already retired he they most likely don't really train and, and fight like that they probably train and still get in shape ain't no wrong with that but they train just to and they get in shape not really fight like that Maybe still punch the pad, you know, still keep up there, like, you know, self-defense and all that shit up, but never really going back in that ring, which is understandable, but we ain't going to get into that. But when Jake Paul felt full of himself, hyping himself up, when he fought a real actual box that really was going to rock his shit, that was Tommy Fury. He's not on the same level, I'm sorry, like, professional boxers know how to hurt people. This is not no influencer boxer bullshit. This is not no game. You can't fight people that know somewhat of what they're doing, but thinking you can beat somebody that's at a different level. Not how it work. Not how it work. You're gonna get humbled. You're gonna get humbled. You're gonna get. You're gonna get. You're gonna get your face messed up. KSI basically met the same fate. I mean, then again, KSI actually fought people. That was strong, but at the same time, nowhere near on the skill level of a real boxer, an actual pro boxer. He met the same fate, too. So the reason I know about this is because I watched those past fights and I know more about what I'm talking about. So what do you yeah. got to say to that? <laughs> Bro, why are you talking about yourself like that? <laughs> Fast. One of Ryan Garcia's first tweets after beating Devin Haney was, don't drink Prime. This is why you don't drink Prime, but respect to Haney for getting up every time. He had the Prime chain on, and obviously they signed Devin Haney just a day after Ryan Garcia's comments calling out Logan Paul and KSI for their toxic drink. They have said it's not a conspiracy, Devin Haney is coming for the W on April 20th, and Devin Haney had said, I love Prime, actually. And Ryan Garcia had said the difference between alcohol and Prime is one says it can kill you, and other claims to be healthy, meanwhile it's killing you. Damn. At least when it comes to adult beverages, adult drinks, at least it's actually saying that. And that's why you gotta be 21 plus. Can't even be 18 on one, which that's not that's not even a bad, that's understandable anyways, but yeah, I'm definitely ain't getting nothing healthy until I actually know it's healthy. I'm going to look that shit up. But even if I look that shit up, right, how will I know that it's going to give me the accurate knowledge of what I need to know? So what if they covering things up on the internet, too? What if they... I don't know. What if, what if what, when you look something up, it's going to put out certain things that they want you to see, though? That's... That's what I've been thinking about as well. After signing Devin Haney to Prime, Logan Paul have predicted an easy win against Ryan Garcia on Jake Paul's podcast, saying he doesn't stand a chance. Oh, uh, well, he's just, gonna get floored, yeah, bro. Yeah, he's he's gonna. Devin get, Haney's yeah. damn near unbeatable right now. Bro. Yeah, he's looking very, bro. very, very. I nice. feel bad, bro. Yeah, but well, it's funny because then we see Logan Paul switch up and his live reaction to Ryan Garcia beating Devin Haney on decision. <laughs>
I know it's talking like Ryan was going to lose. It, it, it really goes to show like a hater ain't got nothing to say after they, they got proven wrong. They ain't going to say shit. Or they might still continue to hate, but they ain't going to say shit. Even KSI tweeted, this Ryan Garcia defeat about to hit so different. Haney about to do a madness. Logan Paul was so sure he was going to lose this fight. He was thinking past the boxing and when he had already lost and how he had dealt with that. He was thinking Ryan had already lost before the bell even dinged. What does a loss on a scale as big as the one he's currently on do to someone? When you're already clearly not mentally well. Well, so that's the thing. Is like, and yeah, on, on, it's speculation, but let's say yeah, he is experiencing some kind of manic episode, whether it's drug induced, whatever. But there's not only the loss, but then there's the you, when when you're manic, there's inevitable down after that. You can only ride so high for so long, and then there's this big crash after. So if that paired with the loss, could, yeah, it could be fucking. I'm dangerous. I'm like genuinely concerned about him. Yeah, I, I'm not. Th I'm thinking beyond his boxing career. Like I I don't. As it stands, this version of Ryan that is going around saying and doing wild shit, not doing what he's supposed to be doing and training for this big fight is not a healthy version of Ryan. I don't want to see this version of Ryan continue on because it's it's going to be ugly. I'm telling you, it's going to be ugly. So I want, I want to show now, a lot of people doubted Ryan Garcia because of his newfound behavior, but Logan Paul's funny because each tweet with a chess move and signing Devin Haney makes it even funnier because Ryan Garcia was going on rants like this. Why did everybody think they playing? chess but they really playing checkers they're making checker moves just because you don't like someone doesn't mean the person you hype up that you want to win is going to win and just because the person you're talking shit about lost doesn't mean they're going to win i mean let me correct myself doesn't mean they're going to lose their upcoming fight right now shit can happen at any moment times can turn tables can turn at any fucking time don't be sleeping on no one. Don't be doubting people. Do not be sleeping on nobody. Don't ever count nobody out. <clears throat> Against Prime. Ryan Garcia recently claimed on a Instagram live that if you support the Prime drink by KSI and Logan Paul in any way, you're working for Satan. Show us proof. I do have the proof. I'm going to. I'm going I'm to I'm be honest. I'm going to be honest. I drank Prime from the, for the very first time. It was the red one. And I ain't gonna lie, that shit, that shit really nasty. I, sp I almost wanted to spit that bitch out. I want to spit that shit out. Because I don't, like, you really don't, I mean, and other people, they drink it, but where I live at, you don't really see fucking people drink that shit like that. But anyways, uh, they obviously are making a lot of money, millions. Hey, I can't help, I can't hate. But I ain't drinking that shit again because it just don't taste right. It, it, it tastes really weird. And I spit that bitch out. But low key, it kind of tastes good because I had to get used to it. My taste buds had to get used to it. I had to, like, my body had to get used to it now. It's fucking good. But, you know, every new beverage, every new food that was quickly produced is basically artificially made. So you don't know what's in it, what chemicals in it, what can actually kill you. You don't know what deadly ingredients could be in there that can cause, like, cancer and stuff like that. Respiratory, it can attack you like respiratory failure and all that, but we ain't gonna get into that neither. I'm just saying, like, you really don't know what's in it. You really don't. Until something bad happens to your body, you start feeling weird and you wonder why. Congress, I'm taking all of them down. One by one by one. Every single person. If you guys drink Prime indirectly and directly now, you're working for the devil. Now you know. Anybody who drinks Prime is working for Satan because you're giving them money so they can keep on creating these. You're giving them power. It's sick. Do not give Satan power. Do not go drink Prime. There's horrible chemicals. Prime tastes like straight sh Prime tastes like straight sh Anybody who's actually drank that, that sh tastes like ass. I'd rather drink Coca-Cola than Prime. And I heard it's supposed to be, like, the next version of, like, Gatorade, it hydrates your body and all that bullshit, but I don't really believe it because it tastes way too weird. Like, how can you make a drink? I think he said, Ryan said this too. He, how can you make a drink that has no sugar but it tastes sweet? That shit tastes like a lot of buttload of fucking sugar. When I dropped that shit, that shit tasted way too sweet. Way too sweet. Way too sweet. They gotta be dumping a lot of sugar in that bitch. I don't know what they put in, like, 
artificial flavors or whatever. They probably put all that shit in one. Prime is the worst ever created. It's going to kill you guys' brains, mess up your guys' liver. It's the most disgusting. How, how the hell they have no sugar, but it tastes sweet as That makes no damn sense. Yeah, Zach, that's what it, that's what I just, that's what I just said. I knew it. I knew it. Wait, well, hold on, let me go back. You guys' brains hey. mess up your guys' liver. It's the most disgusting. How, how the hell they have no sugar, but it tastes sweet as That makes no damn sense. Hypocrite. Unless it's natural flavors, but you know, natural flavors can only go so far. And not everything that's good for you tastes the best, which that's a good thing. Some good things do taste really good, but that shit's rare, which I don't mind eating or drinking something that don't really taste all that good. Maybe bitter. I drink. I can drink that because, you know, when you're an adult, you, you appreciate healthy shit. I'm sorry. When you grow up a lot more, you're going to appreciate healthy shit like me. And when you drink like Coca-Cola and shit, you're going to realize that shit's not really good for you, like dark sodas and all that. You're going to realize that shit, you know, it just, it don't make you feel good when you drink that. Maybe once in a while I drink Coca-Cola. Pepsi's pretty good, I ain't going to lie. But we ain't, I ain't going to get off topic, but y'all know what I mean. It's just, when you eat and drink unhealthy, you don't feel good afterwards. The moment you actually done eating it, it just don't make you feel good on the inside. What the on the outside. That makes Definitely no make sense. Outside. I am training. No, but it's not positive, Scott. They're trying to spin the narrative all crazy. And they're sick bastards. Any organization who uses Prime is low-key working for the devil, and they don't even know it. They don't know it because they're sick people. These are little kids really getting hurt. I've only said true things, and they're saying that they're trying to spin the narrative. And I used to like Logan and everybody. I think I thought I thought they were cool, but now, nah. I I don't care about you, cause you don't care about me. First of all, so everybody stop. Drinking prime, they're selling it to kids. It's disgusting. Yeah, like you know, that's respect because you cannot sell a product that can hurt people, but you just want money out of it. At least sell something that can, you know, that's will obviously help somebody like health, like physical health or mentally health. But you gotta do that mentally, mainly that mentally part on your own, but. If you sound like a good beverage that's healthy or food that's healthy, why not do that? Like, a lot of people don't want to do that. And they say it's good for you when it's not. That's that's low-key like being some kind of dealer, but, yeah, that's sad. Stop drinking prime as a sick... These used cars look the same, but Carfax can show how damage history affects the value. You're damaged. I'm going to pray for my enemy. So, Father in heaven, I just lift up this prayer for Logan, for Mike, for KS Lie to just repent of their sins, Lord. Let them see the light. Let them see the truth. Even, even Logan said before one of his fights, Lord, that he thought of you about forgiveness before he fought Dylan Dennis. Bring him back to that, Lord. Bring them all back to the truth. I love you and I love them, even though they're, mess they're pissing me. I'm sorry, Lord. I love them and praise to you, the most high. I love you, God. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, guys, I'm out. I'm about to spar. Jake Paul was getting a bit of an inkling into a fact that Ryan Garcia was playing some games in the build-up because he FaceTimed him just for that last weigh-in the day before the fight, saying it wasn't actually beer he was... Damn, why are you drinking? I mean, I don't know. He obviously loves to drink beer. Why are you drinking beer in that weigh-in? Drinking in the weigh-in. Yo, do you have extra beer? <laughs> All right. You said it was what? It was uh, apple juice and sparkling water. Oh shit! <laughs> we like, just poured it out. We were like, watch, we're gonna go crazy with this shit. Yeah, I thought it was real. I know, I know. A lot of people think the shit's real, but I just know. Ryan Garcia has definitely put the biggest dent in Prime I've ever seen and ruined his reputation a little bit just with the tweets even after when he had won and said do not drink Prime but he said there could be an ongoing lawsuit between the two and that's the stuff that Logan would do is put a lawsuit on them damaging the reputation of his brand.
all my claims and how they're defending pedophiles and I'm going to take money from them, actually. They're actually going to give me all the money from Prime if they think they really got it like that. I have lawyers too, motherfucker. Remember that, Logan. I got fucking lawyers too. So come fucking at me, dog. I'm bring You want to fucking play with this? You want to play with one of God's anointed? You're going to see what it is. Ooh. ooh. Bro. Ryan Garcia got money too. He may be younger, but hey, he's telling the truth more than somebody else that's like pushing 30. I mean, it's sad. Can't let money go to your head. You can't just start doing bad things just to get more money out of people. Bro. That's that's going to really come back to bite you in the ass. I'm sorry, bro. When it comes to real people exposing fake people, I'm on the real side. I ain't on no fake bullshit. When it comes to me making money, I'd rather do good things. And when I give people something, I want them to feel good. I want them to actually know that it's good. And I want to make sure that's good, too. Like, none of this shit is really funny. Like, what you don't give drinks to people that's going to kill them and mess up their physical health. That's not. And then lie on the Internet saying it's healthy, it's good for you. And they probably don't even drink their own product. A lot of people don't even drink what they advertise. They just... Probably spit that shit out and make it look like you're enjoying a drink or food, whatever. And then when they when they uh, turn off the camera, they spitting that shit out. I'm sorry, like you gotta pay attention to these advertisers. It, it really don't look as good as as they appear to as they made it to be. I'm sorry, bro. Bad people cannot win every battle. They definitely ain't going to win a war. They may win a lot of battles, but they would not win the war in the end. I'm sorry. God's not going to win. Yeah, but Bro, come on. Come at me, bro. I have not made one lie. You're already in a class action lawsuit. Anybody who's been affected by Prime, hit me up. Hit my DMs. Everybody who's been affected by it and what it's done to your house, let me know. Because I'm going to bring all that to the two Whatever they, however far they want to take this. We can take this all the way to the Supreme Court. I don't think it's going to take this way, but they're going to definitely end up doing a settlement and they're going to end up paying me. Remember that. Mark my words. I, Ryan, I'm saying Logan is a WWE champion. Do you think he could be a champion but while not drinking Prime? Do you think he was on Prime while he became a champion? Bro, bro, fuck him, dog. <laughs> What's his stupid ass WWE career too? He's a bitch. I can't be no wrong man. Want to just play just just to be a WWE wrestling? No, that shit fake. You know that shit fake. You know that shit is fake. That shit lame. Nobody care about WWE. Nobody care about that. I mean, Logan Paul, he fit that. That like character very well because he's very used to acting. He's very used to like being a creator online. Of course, he's gonna know how to like be a good like um, entertainer when it comes to entertainment in industry. Like WWE is one of the biggest entertainment industries, so of course he's gonna fit right into that. I heard he's trying to do music, but he said uh, it's, it's a lot of time and it's not for him. Which I can tell, like he don't, he don't look like he can be a rapper. I'm sorry, yeah, he, he he don't look like he can. I mean, he made some diss songs, but that doesn't mean that he can be a good rapper. That don't mean nothing. But KSI, he can spit, he can spit bars, he can sing. He just now started to look like the same, but the dude can sing. He got he got money. I mean, he got he he got bars. He can sing. I can say that about him, like. He got multiple talents. He hit number one in everything that he do. I can't I can't lie about that. I can't hate on his grind. I can't knock him down for that because I respect him. As a black content creator to a black content creator, I respect that. 